Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see who is coming toward you currently when it comes to love. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. Alright, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for who is coming toward you, we have longing. Sacrifice. We also have the Five of Swords here. And we have the Six of Cups in reverse. All right. So when it comes to who is coming toward you, it's definitely someone from your past. You have some unpleasant memories with this person. For some of you, there may have been an argument or some type of conflict between the two of you. But you don't trust this person. Okay, they're missing you a lot. They feel as though they've lost their other half. But there's a sacrifice that this person is needing to make in order for things to work between the two of you. For some of you, that sacrifice could be a lifestyle. For others of you, there's another person that this person would need to get rid of before they could come toward you or at least before they can give you a commitment. But yeah, a lot of you have some very unpleasant memories of this person and I feel as though they're clinging to you. Also, someone wants you to get over the past, okay? They're wanting to fight for this. And with friendship being at the bottom of the deck, they want the bond between the two of you to grow stronger or this is someone that's wanting to get closer to you. They're definitely holding on to this connection even though they put you through a lot, okay? So someone that was distant at some point in time, but now they're wanting to come closer or they're wanting to come together with you in some way, shape or form. So yeah, for some of you, this person could actually come toward you physically. For others of you, I just feel like this person is thinking a lot, especially with this sore energy being here. But someone's wanting you to let go of the past, okay? Any arguments, any type of dispute, they want you to let go of that. So yeah, when it comes to this person with the three of swords being in, in reverse, they want you to forgive them. They feel as though they owe you an apology. For some of you, it's in regards to them juggling you and another person. For others of you, this may have been someone that was indecisive. They may have even been living a double lifestyle. I feel like there were a lot of things that you didn't know about this person. There may have been some secrets that they were keeping from you. I just feel like this person was in some deceptive energy. For some of you with the four of wands being in reverse, there was either a breakup between the two of you or the relationship is on a very shaky foundation. I feel like one reason why things have not been working between you and this person is because they're always hiding things. Hmm. With the Ace of Swords being here, someone wants to come in with honest communication. They want to tell you how they feel. Also, like I said before, for some of you, there was an argument or there was conflict. They want the two of you to move past that. But some of you may not be interested in what this person has to say when they do come toward you. For some of you, this may be someone that made you feel rejected by um, choosing someone else over you or just by being indecisive. If they were living like a double life or if they are living a double life, I just feel like this person made you feel neglected in some way. But they want you to let your guard down. Someone wants you to trust them again. I feel like they may come in expressing emotion. For some of you, they may still come with some deceptive energy. But I feel like someone wants to hit you at your weak point or what they feel as though is a weak spot. So for some of you, if you're the type that wear your heart on your sleeve, I feel like this person's going to come in trying to overwhelm you with emotion. If you feel as though you have a weak spot for this person, they're going to try to come in and take advantage of that. Hmm. With the Hierophant being here, someone just wants you to listen to what they have to say. They want to come off like they have their mind made up. I feel like they've also been getting advice in regards to you. But yeah, they want to come in as though they're ready to follow the rules now. Like they're ready for a traditional relationship. But I feel like things are just going to be shaky between the two of you because this person has been deceptive in the past. So this past person is going to come in wanting to express emotion. They may um, come in with 
some honest communication or what they feel as though is honest communication because with the five of swords being here i still feel like this person can't be trusted i wouldn't be surprised if for some of you they come in with conflict so make sure that if this person comes in wanting to argue don't come off of your throne so let's see what else comes out give me more messages please holy spirit when it comes to this person who is coming for my viewers currently when it comes to love? Who is coming toward my viewers currently when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. I feel like this person played a lot of mind games in the past. So let's see what else comes out. All right, so we have commitment. So someone's coming in wanting to offer you a commitment. It's up to you if you decide to accept this person's offer or not. Okay, but they're definitely missing you here. Give me more. Who is coming toward my viewers? Wear and tear. So this is someone that put you through a lot. They want you to have a different perspective when it comes to them. Okay, someone wants you to see them differently. So I feel like this is someone that played with you at one point in time, but now they want to come in and show you that they can um, be committal. This may be someone that was non-committal in the past. Hmm. Give me more. Who is coming toward my viewers currently when it comes to love? Thank you. So we have shadow work. So this is someone that definitely needs to do a little bit of shadow work here. I feel like this is someone that may come in telling you that they want to do better or they want to do right by you. They are rushing in toward you. Someone is feeling the need to rush in because for some reason they feel like they're running out of time. They may feel like you're getting over them with the Six of Cups being in reverse. Give me more. Who is coming toward my viewers currently when it comes to love? Okay, escapism. So this is someone that's been distracting themselves. At one point, this person was using a substance or possibly other people as, an, as a distraction. They were trying to relieve themselves of the pain that they feel when it comes to you. So for some of you, if you're no longer dealing with this person, they've been experiencing some turmoil, but I feel like they come off like everything's okay. So they may not want you to know how deep in their feelings they really are. <laughs> Give me more. Who is coming toward my viewers currently when it comes to love? So we also have unrequited. So this is someone that definitely was not reciprocating your energy. Someone may have wanted you to wait on them. Wait for them to get it right. This is someone that put you through a lot of pain. For some of you, they may feel like you don't feel the same way about them anymore. They may feel as though you no longer want to put in effort. That's not for all of you. But this is someone that just doesn't play their part or they don't do their part. I feel like if you were to indulge with this person, you would end up doing most of the work in the connection. Hmm. Give me one more card. Who is coming toward my viewers currently when it comes to love? All right, so we have player. So this is someone that tends to play the field. They have very lusty energy. So we have commitment here, but we also have player. So it's giving me energy of someone that wants their cake and eat it too. Someone wants the best of both worlds. Remember what I was telling you guys before in the overall energy that um, this person could be someone that lives a double life. So they want to be with you. They want to come off as though they want a committed relationship with you, but in the background, they may be playing the scene or giving other people attention. <sighs> hmm. So there's a lot of changes that this person needs to make. I just feel like someone doesn't want you to get over them. Okay. So make sure that you keep your guard up. Like I said before, I feel like this person's going to try to come toward you in a way that they feel as though you're weak. Doesn't mean that you're really weak in that way, but in a way that they feel as though you're weak. So for example, if you're a very empathetic person, they may come toward you telling you about all of their problems. Um, if you're the type that um, always wanted emotion from this person, if you always wanted them to express themselves, they may give you some emotion just to get you to let your guard down, okay? Hmm.
Give me more. Who is coming toward my viewers currently when it comes to love? All right. So we have fatal event that came out crossing. So this is someone that's done too much. Like I said before, they need to change. Okay. There has to be a change here in order for things to work between the two of you. Some of you aren't interested in dealing with this person anymore. Some of you are trying to move on. Others of you may want to reconcile with this person, but I just feel like they put you through a lot. I feel like they keep making the same mistakes over and over. Or if you were to let them in, once you let your guard down, once they feel like they have you where they want you, I feel like this person will revert back to their past behaviors. Give me more. Who is coming toward my viewers? Thank you. So we have under pressure. So that's why they're rushing in. They're feeling the pressure right now. And it's mainly because they feel as though you're detaching. So that's why they're under pressure to come toward you and to try and reconcile things because they feel as though you're closing yourself off emotionally. I feel like for some of you, there may still be some pain here in regards to this person, but it doesn't hurt the way that it used to. Now, for others of you, I feel like you're completely detached. You may be numb. If you do decide to try and make things work with this person, just make sure that you take things slow. Okay, don't let them rush you into a commitment because with this five of swords energy, this is someone that will do or say anything to get what they want. They want you to trust them again. They want you to see them as someone that is um, good for you or someone that has good intentions. But with the five of swords being here, I just feel like this person is coming wearing a mask. So you need to be aware of that. So, yeah, just make sure that you keep your guard up. Use your intuition. This is someone that feels as though time is running out in order to make things work. I feel like once you embrace this person and let them back in, if you let your guard down completely, they're going to start putting you through another vicious cycle. So until they make this sacrifice here in regards to leaving another person behind, in regards to changing their ways or whatever the sacrifice is that they need to make, until they do that, I feel like this person is always going to go back to past behaviors. They haven't made the sacrifice here as of yet because the Six of Cups is in reverse. So this is someone that knows they need to do shadow work, but they're not doing it. They know that there are some things that they need to change, but they try to escape changing. A lot of you have done a lot of inner work, but see, they're not doing the same thing in return. I, I just feel like the two of you are not on the same page. But they want to be with you. They do want to be with you. But I feel like it wouldn't be healthy for you. Not as of yet. Okay. All right. So that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.